Missing the right time to buy a cryptocurrency can be frustrating. That is why in this video, I am going to show you how you can make your own crypto signal bot that is going to send you notification directly to Telegram whenever it is the right time to buy. If this type of video gives you joy, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification like and also comment down below after you have made this your trading bot. So without further delay, let's dive in. Navigate to trading view and in this video tutorial, we are going to be using RSI as the technical indicator. So on your trading view, click on indicators and then type RSI. Click on RSI. Then on this section, click on the setting icon and then change the period to 8 and the source to low. Then on the style, allow only RSI, RSI upper band as well as RSI lower band. So click on OK. And this is BTC USD chart. You can see when the RSI is overbought in a daily chart. The price tends to go up. So what if we have a signal bot that sends us notification whenever this RSI is overbought? If you have a bot that sends you notification, you are going to have a notification to buy here. But at some given point, it is not all going to be 100%. Like in the case of this section that you see the RSI gave a buy signal here and a buy signal here. Always make sure that you apply your own analysis. For me, I will only buy if the price is less than 20% from the previous high. If you navigate to other symbol, in the case of this video, let's say TRX. Like in this case, this was a buy signal. For me, the way I am going to be trading with this signal is that if I buy here and suddenly the market goes down, whenever it finds another signal and notify me on Telegram, I am going to buy times 1.6 volume of the previous buy. So without further delay, let's dive in and grade this signal bot. So the first thing that you are going to do is to install Visual Studio Code. So navigate to your browser and type Visual Studio Code. I am also going to drop a link on the description to download Visual Studio Code. So you can download on your operating system. The next is going to be to get a server. So I have dropped the link on the description of this video to get a server in which you are going to run your bot 24 hours in 7 days. Make sure you use that affiliate link to get your DreamHost VPS. I'm currently using DreamHost VPS and I highly recommend that you use a DreamHost VPS. But if you have gotten a VPS before, you can also host it on your VPS. I'm going to over on hosting after getting to DreamHost from the link of the description of this video and then click on VPS hosting. Now when you click on VPS hosting, click on buy VPS web hosting. And when you get to this VPS web, I will highly recommend that you buy the one of 2 gig RAM. But if you don't feel like buying that one, you can also buy the one of 1 gig RAM based on what you want to install. So I'm going to click on sign up now and then once you get to sign up now, click on the yearly. I won't recommend you buy the monthly subscription because your bot is going to be running on the daily time frame. So monthly subscription will not satisfy the bot because we want to run our bot for a long time. So click on the yearly subscription and fill the billing information and then make a payment. After making your payment, you have this credential sent to you by DreamHost by your email or on your dashboard. So this is the credential you are going to use to access your server. Open the Visual Studio code that you downloaded. After opening it, click on this button right here. And then click on here to search extension. The extension that you are going to search is going to call Remote SSH. So I'm going to type Remote SSH. Then you are going to see this remote SSH by Microsoft. Click on it and then click on install. In my case, I already installed it. So click on install. After installation, click on this search icon, 
when you get to the search icon if you have not seen the right arrow key and then type the greater than key and then search ssh you are going to see remote ssh click on it then click on add new ssh post then here you are to type your username which is going to be your server username at the ip address so in my case it is going to be root at my ip address so i'm going to type my correct ip address right now so i already have the ip address which is this ip address so in your case just type root which is the username at the ip address and then click on enter after that you are going to see a pop-up to enter your password so just enter the password provided by dreamhost so in my case i am going to type my password and then click on enter then it is going to initialize in this way and you are going to see ssh with your server ip address here so after that click on this button and then click on open folder then clear everything here and then allow only the slash button and then click on ok it is going to ask for a password type your password and then click on enter then you are going to see all the directory in your server in this way you can right click here and click on new folder to create a folder but in my case i am going to make my bot inside the home directory so i'm going to right click here and then right click on localhost it doesn't matter anywhere you place your bot you can always put it in any directory that you wish but this is where i always put my bot so i'm going to right click on this and then create a new folder so i'm going to call this folder by signal bot and then click on enter after that right click on the folder that you created and then click on copy part and then on your terminal if at any given point you don't see the terminal just click on this icon here this icon here and the terminal is going to pop up then click on terminal and then on your terminal type cd and then paste the parts that you just copy you can click on right click on your mouse to paste you can also click ctrl v to paste it then click on enter if you type ls you are not going to see any file because we have not added any file into the directory now navigate to github.com slash florinix slash buy signal crypto bots there's going to be a link in the description once you click on the link on the github on the description click on the code section and then click on this button to copy this repo now navigate to your server again on your server type git version and then click on enter if at any given point you see any error it means you don't have git installed inside your server so in that case you have to paste the command sudo apt git install git hyphen all to install git then type python 3 hyphen capital v and then click on enter then you should see the version of python installed if you don't see python installed then you will definitely have to install python in your server if you don't know how to do this then there's going to be a link to join this call just ask a question on the diy section then i'm going to be available to answer your question and guide you through on how to install python on your server then after everything type git clone and then paste the Flonis GitHub repo that you copied. Then click on Enter. Then it is going to clone into that directory. Now click on this button to refresh your directory. And then click here to view the files in your directory. Now you are going to see all those files that you cloned from the repo. Congratulations for finishing up this step. On your terminal, type clear. To clear all the terminal and then type ls to view the files now you can see we have a folder that we clone from the directory now we are going to navigate to the folder by typing cd and then i'm going to copy this directory and then paste and then click on enter if you type ls you are going to see all the files in that directory now what we are going to do is to 
install the requirements that we need to run this bot so in that case i'm going to type pip install hyphen r then requirements.txt now it is going to install all the requirements that we need to run our signal bot wait for it to complete and when it is completed clear your terminal now on your signal bot.py open it and then paste your telegram bot api key here and also paste your telegram bot id here if you don't know how to get these two parameters from your telegram there's going to be a link in the description of this video click on that link to watch the video on how to get this parameter so i'm going to paste my id and my api key remember to click on save after pasting it then on your terminal type python3 signal iphone bot.py and then click on enter now once you see this message on your screen it means your bot is successfully running now you will need to use pm2 to run your bot pm2 is a node.js library so if you don't know how to install pm2 there's going to be a link in the description of this video pointing to pm2 and if you don't know how to use it message on the diy section of the discord and i'm going to be available to assist you on how to use your pm2 to run your bot 24 hours without interruption your bot is going to be sending you notification in this way but make sure you first of all send your bot a message to initialize it to send you a message so you can send any message you wish to send and in that case that bot will be able to send you a message so you can see how it sends a message like for example it finds a buy signal on rsi on ata usdt and if you navigate to the daily chart of ata usdt you can see that the rsi is overbought at this point points so that's exactly how you can create this bot and this is going to send you notification for any of your favorite cryptocurrencies in that exchange so you can go ahead and buy it at any given point with this bot you can never miss an opportunity to buy a cryptocurrency anymore so feel free to buy and hold your cryptocurrency whenever you find a signal and also make sure to apply your own analysis before buying if this type of content makes sense to you and you enjoy this type of content please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel comment down below if you have successfully made this trading bot and if you have any question message me on discord diy section and i'm going to be more than happy to assist you